welcome to Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful shawl. Beautiful. I really, really did enjoy making this shawl. Um, there are a few things um, I'm going to tell you about the shawl at the very end of this video. Um, for example, how to um, prevent uh, yarn vomit out of the Scheepjes World Cake. Um, but yeah, I'm going to tell you that at the end of the video. So I would, suggest, I would suggest you to watch the whole video before you're going to make this one. Alright, um, like I said, Scheepjes World, beautiful yarn. Be beautiful yarn. Enjoy watching the video! For this tutorial I'm going to use a Scheepje Swirl. Um, this is a thousand meters, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic um, and the color is 784 Watermelon Hellraiser. Now I'm going to use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle to sew in my ends, and a pair of scissors. Okay, I want to have a tassel, actually, more tassels, but I want to have a tassel um, at the beginning of my scarf. Um, I'm not sure if you've seen that on um, the photos at the beginning of this video, but here's a photo where you can see uh, a tassel in this color. Okay, because I want to have a tassel in this color, I need to start off by making that tassel. So um, I just got my mobile phone here and I'm just wrapping around my mobile phone for about 15 times. And I already did that in my Dutch video, so um, therefore I already cut my yarn. Look, 15 times. Then I cut my yarn here and I just got it off my phone. I'm just um, leaving this aside and I will be making the tassel later on. But then I have the collar that I wanted to start off with. Okay? Okay, um, I'm leaving a little bit of a tail end uh, long enough. Uh, so I can weave it through the tassel later on. Then I'm going to start off with a magic circle. I'm just going to do it really, really slow, okay? Just look what I'm doing. So bring it back down, straight down on the back side of your hand, across in the front and straight back down on the back side of your hand then turn your work here's your crochet hook with the hook facing down go underneath the first strand of yarn grab the last strand of yarn twist so you have a little loop on your hook go to the first strand of yarn here and pull this through the loop on your hook There you go. Now pull a little on the um, tail end. If you find this hard, then you can you can also make a chain of four and then a slip stitch into the very first stitch. Now I forgot forgot to tell you something, guys. I have a, a beautiful stitch marker that I got off um, a great friend. Um. I'm placing that one into the magic circle just to be sure that it cannot close all the way. Okay, now I already did a chain one. 
I'm adding two chains to that. So I have a chain of three. A double crochet into the circle. Another double crochet. So counting the chain three, I have three double crochets into the circle. Chain three. And three more double crochets into the magic circle. One. Two. And three. Chain one. Turn your work. Now start working into the um, double crochets, but in the back loops only. Yarn over, turn your work a little like this. Find the back loop of your first stitch, which is here. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Next stitch. Just do this so you can see the stitches. Back loop only. Double crochet in it. Next stitch, back loop only, double crochet. Now into this chain space, three double crochets, one, two, three, chain three, and three double crochets. Chain one, turn your work, work, F skip the first stitch, go to the next stitch, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull through, slip stitch, next a slip stitch, and into the chain space a slip stitch. Chain three. Two more double crochets into the same chain space. One and two. Counting the first chain three, we have three double crochets. Chain three. And three double crochets into the same chain space. Two and three. Now we will be working into the last double crochets, all into the back loops only. Yarn over and make your double crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, and the last stitch. This is actually the hardest one. There you go, number six. Chain one, turn your work. And now this is where the fun begins. Make a double crochet into the very first stitch in the back loop only. One, two, and three stitches. Then chain two. Don't chain too tight, chain loose because you need to work into 
um, into the uh, chain stitches. Now skip two, but have a look at your previous row. One, two, three. We worked in those three. We're going to skip these two and we will be working into the next stitch. Double crochet in the back loop of the next stitch. And the next. Two. Three. And four. Now, here you have the chain 3. In the chain 3, you make 3 double crochets, a chain 3, and 3 double crochets. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and 3 double crochets. 1, 2, And this is what it looks like. Next row. Chain one. Skip the first stitch. Go to the second slip stitch in that one. Go to the third stitch. And slip stitch and slip stitch into the chain space. Chain 3. Two double crochets. Chain 3. And three double crochets. Make a double crochet in the back loop only for all stitches, including the chain 2. Yarn over. Find that very first stitch here. Turn your work a little bit, a little bit like that and find the back loop. 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now be careful that you work into the right stitch. Because this is where the chain two space is. And you really have to be careful not to skip a stitch. One and two. If you're not sure, have a look just like that and see that they are both into the chain space here. Okay? Now continue working in the last three stitches and only work in the back loops only for the whole shawl. I'm struggling with every time when I'm here I'm struggling struggling with the last um, stitch. There you go. Now after this row it looks like this. Next, chain one, turn your work. A double crochet in the first three stitches in the back loop only. One, two, and three. Now, 
chain two, skip the next two, one, two, work a double crochet in the next two stitches, chain two, skip two, and into the next stitch, a double crochet. And now double crochets in all of the remaining stitches of this um, of this row. Two, three, four. Three double crochets into the chain three space. One, two, three, chain three, and three double crochets into the same chain space. One, two, and three. This is what it looks like. Next row, chain one. Start slip stitching into the second stitch. One, two, and three into the chain three space. Chain three, and the chain three counts as your very first double crochet stitch. Two more double crochets, chain three, and three double crochets, one, two, three. Now, one double crochet in each of the next stitches of this row, including you chain two spaces. And remember, we are working in the back loops only. Now, please be sure not to skip a stitch. So into the very first one, and in the second one, Then have a look if you did that the right way. Look at that. I did that correct. Then in the next two stitches. Chain space. Check. Yep. One, two, and three. Chain one, turn your work, and the next row. Now, three double crochets. So in each of the next three stitches, one a double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two. Skip two and two double crochets. Chain three. 
chain two, skip two, two double crochets, chain two, skip two, and double crochets until you are at the end of this row. Okay, I need to tell you something. Look, basically this is all you need to do for this scarf, for this shawl. Here we have just one space, then a, um, a row with just double crochet stitches. Then we have a row with two spaces. So one, two. And a row with just double crochet stitches. This row we have three chain spaces. Okay, so we are decreasing on this side and we are making more chain spaces the further we are in the shawl. So after we did this bit and we have the return row with just the double crochet stitches the next row will have four of these chain spaces okay so um, just to be sure if you're doing things the right way have a look at the row before this one you know before this one so have a look at this row if you are here at this point and you need to um, you're not sure how many of these spaces you need have a look at this row if you see two here you need one more in this row and so on and so on okay so double crochet stitches until you are the chain three space into the chain three space three double crochets chain three and three double crochets Chain one, turn your work, skip the first stitch, slip stitch in the next, slip stitch in the next. And slip stitch into the chain space. Chain three, two double crochets. Chain three and three double crochets into the same chain space. Now, one double crochet on top of the, all the stitches right here, including the chain two spaces. When you get the hang of it, it, it really is um, an easy pattern. The only difficult thing about this um, shawl is, at least that's my opinion, is that you need to work in the back loops only. That's basically it. If you find that too hard, um, then just work into the um, uh, uh, through both loops of the of the uh, stitch. But be aware of the fact that your shawl will look different when you do that. It will. Okay. Now, I did the double crochets. Um, I need 
need one more. I did the double crochets into the chain space. Look at that. Then two double crochets. Two in the chain space. See, I skip one. I need this one. And then this one. And have another look. Yep. And into the chain spaces. Check if you did that correctly. Yes, I did. And then a, a double crochet in the last three stitches. See, struggling again. And this is what it looks like. See? One, two, and three. Next row. Chain one. Show your work. Work a, a double crochet in the first three stitches. One. Two. And three, chain two, skip two, and double crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, chain two, skip two, two double crochets. Chain two, skip two, and two double crochets. Now, remember what I just told you um, two rows before this one. If you're not sure if you did it correctly, then have a look at the row before the row that you did. So the, the um, row with the chain spaces this one. We have three here. So in this row we need to have four of these chain spaces. So therefore chain two, skip two, and double crochet in all of the remaining stitches of this row. See, because when you have a look now, you have one, two, three, and four. Okay, so this is basically all there is to it. You just have to make sure that you follow up the pattern just like this. Have a look at the chain space rows before the row that you are working on, just to be sure that you have the right uh, number of chain spaces. Okay, well, um, I'm going to continue working on the rest of my shawl and it might take a while, but um, you will see um, how it looks like in the next clip. Okay, I'm gonna let you know as well how many of the chain spaces I have in my last row. Now, if you are working with another um, crochet hook, if you have another tension, it might be different for you. The number of rows, the um, length or the width of the shawl 
might be different. That is no problem at all. Just make your own unique shawl, okay? And please do not forget to enjoy while you are while you are making this shawl. Okay. Um I see you guys later, okay? One eternity later. I'm about to uh, fasten off. Uh, I'm going to do a chain one and then cut the yarn. I already did that. But leave a little bit of a tail end at least as long as your tassel will be. So you don't have to weave in the end, but you can add it to the tassel. And then pull through and give it a little tuck. All right. Um, now. I'm getting my mobile phone here. And just like we did in the beginning of the video, wrap around your uh, phone or whatever you have. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Then cut your yarn. There you go. Push it off your phone. Hold it. Just like that. And cut it here. There you go. Now, it might be handy to get yourself a little bit of a bigger hook size. There you go. I need a bigger one. Um, five and a half. Should do the trick. Okay. Then go to the very last, it's black, it's hard to see, I know. Okay. Go to the very last stitch and place your um, hook between the last stitch, two stitches. Then pull this bundle of yarn through and be sure that you have the right side facing you right and the strand of yarn that you have left and just like that now you can modify it a little bit. Um, last but not least is off camera I'm going to do the very last tassel. And um, then I uh, remember that I forgot to tell you something. So um, if you think that your shawl is not big enough, because um, um, the measurements of mine, I'm going to put them right across the screen here. Um, if you think that your shawl is not big enough, what you could do is you can use a whirlette. Now, the whirlette um, is, has the same thickness, um, it is the same yarn uh, as the whirl, but the whirlette has a solid color. Look, for example, here is the Whirlet Solid Color Chewy. And the Chewy color does match the gray that I have in this shawl. So when you decide to buy um, the Whirl um, and you want it bigger, then find yourself a Whirlet um, that fits, you know, the, the colors that you have in your shawl. For me, I could do um, a couple of rows or I could use the whole skein of the whirlette 
right at the point where um, the dark gray color here and just one little thread of light gray ends and where the dark gray and the one thread of black um, come together. So at that point where the color change is, I could cut my yarn uh, after the um, light color, then go on with this one. And when you think that it's probably enough, then cut this yarn again and attach the um, last bit of the whirl. That's what you could do. You don't have to, but you could do that. Now, that's what I forgot to tell you earlier. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, um, my last task. Okay, um, I attached all three tassels to my shawl. Two and three. There you go. And for me, that's it. That's it. Um, I really did enjoy making this shawl. Now, there was one thing. Um, I had halfway through the cake, I had some issues with yarn vomit. I don't know how you guys call it, but that's how I call it. And um, I spoke to one of my friends. She also has a YouTube channel, uh, Vonus Creaties. She does, um, her granny does some English videos, but most of her videos are in Dutch. Um, providing the link down below into the description box if you are uh, curious. Uh, then you can have a look at her um, YouTube channel. But she gave me a really good trick. Now, when you have the same um, thing happening to your world, what you could do if you work it from the inside out, just like I did, you can get yourself a glass and put it in the middle. Now, I have a really big hole now, so I could use a wide glass. But if your hole in the middle is... Um, is not that big then use um, a, a little um, smaller glass okay because that was like the trick um, after I used the glass um, the issue was gone so um, that's why I, what I wanted to say to you guys um, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for uh, for you guys. I think this is one of the shawls I'm going to keep in my own collection. Because I really, really do love it. Um, what would help me really out is whenever you decide to make this shawl, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I've seen that a lot of you guys do watch my videos, but you're not a subscriber and you really do help me out for being a subscriber. Um, when you made a show, then uh, please um, post it on all your social and mention me. Mention the name of the show, uh, mention my YouTube channel, which is made by Seam. Um, uh, because that will help me out quite a lot. And if you're allowed uh, on that social media, like for example a Facebook group, then uh, you might want to add the link to this video. Because, um, yeah, th that's how you support me. Okay? Um, if you want to buy a Scheepjes Whirl and or a Whirlette, um, then I'm going to try to find a link for you guys where you can purchase this yarn. Uh, when I found the link, so I cannot guarantee that, but when I found the link, I'm going to post it right down into the description box of this video. Um, so you know where to, uh, to buy this yarn. Okay. Um, is there anything else I can tell you? I don't think so. I did enjoy it quite a lot, um, but for me it took a long time because usually um, I'm a fast crocheter and usually 
um, I have a shawl done within two or three days and this one took me um, a little bit longer I think I started on Friday and today it is Thursday and the only thing I did today was adding the tassels so I finished the shawl uh, on Wednesday and I only crochet a couple of hours a day but still for me that was a long time anyway um, enjoy that's all I can say have a good time and enjoy making the show bye for now